prologue. There are three banners that represent three whales. One by one, the whales beach themselves on the ground. A father and his two children, Michelle and Joey, enter. Oh, Daddy, look! What are they, Daddy? Whales. They must have beat themselves a few minutes ago. Are they still alive? Hey, Daddy, look at those men over there, Daddy. Maybe they'll know what to do. You think so? Yes, maybe. Michelle and Joey, you stay here and don't touch anything. I'm going over to ask one of those men if they know what's going on. I'll be right back. He begins to exit and Joey follows him. Father stops and takes Joey back to Michelle. I said I'll be right back. Father exits. Hmm. Do you hear that, Joey? It sounds like one of them is trying to say something. Oh, no, they're not. You're just trying to scare me. Don't be such a geek. I am not. Just listen. A long time ago. Grandchildren. 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 The world was young and new, always changing. The changes of fire, floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, made the first beings join together for their own survival. It was then that they decided they would have council. Council. Scene one, man is on stage. He's trying to fly by flapping his arms. Seagull, eagle, sparrow, and then condor enter. Seagull pokes man and causes a stir. They settle down to a quiet state. He won't, he, he can't, he can't fly. What a goofy being. Quiet Seagull. There is a possibility he will go to the council. What? What's this council thing anyway? I don't want to go. I want to stay with my own nation. No, we were told to bring you to the council, man. You have to appear before the council. Now climb on my back and I'll take you there. A long, long way. A long journey to have. From here to council? No, no. I mean, from Condor's back, when in the sky, to the ground is a long way to splat. Don't say things like that to him. Eagle, Sparrow, help him get on my back. Man, be brave. Do it now. Condor is the strongest of all of us, and she'll take you there safely. All right. Maybe one of these days, I'll make the journey myself. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't splat. Thanks a lot. The birds begin to take off. Condor is the last to take off. Farewell, man. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye. Condor and man are in the air. I want... I want to fly by myself. You are not made for it. What do you mean? I have feathers and the ability to fly. If I had feathers, could I fly? I don't know. Man examines the feathers on Condor's back. He begins to pick one. Some of our relations have feathers and can't fly out. There are some of them who are very fast runners and can't fly out. What are you doing, man? Uh, just borrowing some feathers. Man has picked several feathers and Condor is having problems flying. What? Ow! Why? Uh, so I can fly myself. Man, no! You can't fly and I can't fly if you take my feathers. Uh, yes, I can. Man takes the feathers he has plucked from Condor, 
jumps off of Condor's back and tries to flap his arms. I can't. I can go. I'm going to go splat. He comes crashing to the ground. The council gathers around him. Condor, wolf, tiger, panda bear, walrus, and lizard. Members of the council, I give you our new being, man. Wolf walks over and sniffs man. So oh, this is how it looks up close. It's still alive. Man stirs and Wolf brushes dirt on him and walks away. Oh, brother, I was hoping this wouldn't take so long. As a representative of my nation and all my relations, I thank you for the chance to bring this new being to the council. If you don't need me for anything else, I would like to return to my home. Yes, thank you, Condor. You are excused. Condor exits. What shall we do with this silly being? Lizard, my old friend, that's why we are here. All of you, talkers from the nations and your relations, what are we to do with this new being, man? I, Wolf, say we should get rid of him and his small herd. Then I take we're all in agreement not to let this being live with us. Excuse me, Tiger and other distinguished talkers of the council, but we can't do that. If a cloud passes into the empty sky, we can't prevent it from doing so. He comes from Earth just as we do. Perhaps he will go away. Pass on. Remember, Panda Bear, remember Lizard's Nations and all those other relations had beings that passed on. Some of his relations had wings and flew in the sky, and they had no feathers. The ancient ones, they passed away. Frightening beings they were. You may be right, Walrus. Man and his nations may not survive if they don't learn to feed themselves. Man's nation has been taking the remains from our hunts, but they need to learn to hunt for themselves. If a claw poked its skin, the skin would open. Its skin feels so thin. Look, not only is it thin-skinned, but it grows plants on itself. Walrus, my lodge friend, these plants aren't growing from it. Man takes these plants to cover himself. Should we allow it to pass away or live amongst us? The council and all the nations would have to make an exception. We should not hunt them until they've become larger in numbers and stronger in health. No, full members of the council hunt and are hunted. It is the circle of life. They, they are weak of body, and they could be weak of mind. If this is so, they will never learn our ways. Oh, we teach our cubs who are weak and don't know the ways. We can teach it the same things. Man will learn, but we have to protect this new being until it has developed its own skills and builds its strength. Protect it? See here, Panda Bear. No one protects our young for us. Calls for a vote. There is no other way for them to survive. Greed? Oh, all right, Panda Bear. Members vote. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, they will not be hunted. Will it be a talker for itself? Or should we choose a talker for it since it is so weak? Wolf, it has been able to talk for itself. It has a mouth, I think. Panda Bear examines man. Because he and his nation are so young, he should have a talker who was already recognized and established in bloodlines to talk for him and his nation. Who is the closest relation to man? Does anyone want to claim relationship to the new being? Me. Me, I will. The council members stir. No, this is very interesting. Someone wants to serve as talker for man. Here is Ice Traveler of the Orca Nations and all their relations. Ice Traveler? Oh dear. 
I'd rather be splatted myself. Really? Who could lift you? Silence. We will meet with Ice Traveler. Council members cross to the edge of the stage. Ice Traveler is represented by a banner. She comes to a stop and the council members gather near her while man lies motionless on the stage. Members of the council, I will see to it that man and his nations grow strong. They will become a proud nation of the council. We are all different, but we must live together as one. And he will be taught this. I will ask help from other council members to teach man and his nations to live. Panda Bear steps forward. You and Panda Bear will make sure he understands and learns the council's ways, Ice Traveler? Yes, I will. We will all teach them. Silliness. If I am wrong, then he will pass away like other nations of the past. Man stirs and council members cross to him. I, me, I, splat it. Oh, my arm is still sore too. Panda bear is face to face with man. What? I, I am, I mean, who are you? Panda bear, talker of the panda bear nation and all their relations. The council? I made it? Oh, I didn't think I would get here. Yes. Would you like to wrestle? That's two out of three. No, no. Thank you. But no, no. Oh, I, I and my people to be included in the council. We can use more help. Wolf and his nations have been helpful in providing food, but we don't get enough to eat. We are the fourth ones to eat after Wolf and other nations. Man, you'll be heard and fed. Things will change for you and your people. Your mocking soon will join ours in the council circle. Man walks around the circle. He is about to place his handprint. Wait, you have to wait. Uh, thank you, all of you. Um, uh, I'm gonna get something to sit on. Man exits off stage. The council members reform into council stances in a circle. Members of the council, when man has grown, we will allow him to place his markings at the edge of the council circle with ours. Then he will become the talker of his nation and join the circle of life. Man enters with a small hide. This causes a large uproar among the council members until Tiger restores order. Look. What is that? I need Enter, man. I need something to sit on. The idea came to me, so I'm gonna get use this mangy old hide. Where did you get that? That that hide? From over there. There were a lot of them. That hide is from the resting place of the council members we honor. Greedy pup. Silly. Silliness. Strange Man. bean. Man. Greedy. Pup. Terrible. Scene two, Tiger is hiding in some bushes. Man and Panda Bear enter. When they do, Tiger stalks them. You are fortunate that no being is allowed to be attacked or hunted at a council. Be sure to think before you take. Tiger charges out and knocks Man down. What? What a strange cub, so skinny. Now, first we are going to have Tiger teach you how to hunt. That will be your first path to learning the ways of this world. Kill only to hunt and to protect. Hunt? Oh, you mean to get food? You have to eat, don't you? Where is your partner? I don't have one. Why should I have one? No wonder you're starving. First, you must know what fills your stomach. You mean what it is we eat? Yes. Uh, do you have any grubs? Grubs? You'll feed a whole family and nation on grubs? Yeah, everything else is too fast or too big for me to hunt. 
Then I will show you how to hunt those that are too fast and too big for you to catch. All right. Hear me, oh, too big and too fast. Silence, silence. Now, there is a water buffalo calf over there. Really? Where? Smell it. I can't smell it. Are you sure? Shh. Will you be silent? It's coming this way. What are you going to do when it gets here? I will surprise it and jump on its back. I'll go for its neck and then bring it down. <laughs> and what will you do, man? Oh, I'm going to run like a four-legged ostrich in the other direction. No, no, no. You will come from the other side. Now watch closely. Soon it'll come out of the weeds and you'll have something for your family to eat. She exits into the bushes. Man doesn't. Tiger chases man to Panda Bear, who is hiding in the bushes, and returns to the bushes. Panda Bear, I don't think, I don't know if I can do it. Trust her. She is a great hunter for her nation. Yeah, but she has things. She has these claws and teeth and a lot of other things that I don't have. You have claws. He examines man's hands. Or the beginnings of claws. You have teeth. But I can't do what she does. I, I need something else. He begins to look around in the bushes. He finds a stick and a rock, then a vine. Now what are you doing, man? Man? Man places the rock on the stick and uses the vine to wrap the rock to the stick. Making a claw. From another part of the stage, water buffalo calf enters. Tiger takes a final sniff. Ma? 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 Tiger stalks toward water buffalo calf, but before she can attack, man has also charged and strikes Tiger with claw and then gives a loud charging cry and chases water buffalo calf off stage. <laughs> Panda Bear and Tiger freeze watching him, then look at each other. He can't be taught anything. He was only trying to help you. Now what do I feed my family? He didn't mean to ruin you, your hunt. I'm sure he'll take responsibility for what he's done. I should feed him to my family. Remember our agreement. Man is not to be hunted. Then you teach him how to hunt. She exits. Man enters with a melon. Look, look, look what I knocked down out of the tree with my claw. He proudly displays club. Huh. Eh. Eh. Look now, I have to, I have to work on making something, my teeth. Where's, where's Tiger? She's not too pleased, not too pleased at this moment. It wasn't my fault. She got in my way. Oh, man, you have a lot to learn about the hunt. I still think you should learn to, to, to maybe wrestle. He playfully charges man. Man doesn't know what to do, but he raises the club in defense. Panda Bear senses the pose and withdraws. Man drops the melon and club and runs to Panda Bear. They embrace. Panda <laughs> Bear laughs. <laughs> Scene three, Ice Traveler and Sea Turtle are on stage. Ice Traveler is in the water and Sea Turtle is on the beach. Lizard, didn't you agree with my helping you, Ice Traveler? But you, I like you, just call me. Like this? Thank you, sea turtle. Man must learn about other nations and where they live. Man enters, carrying a lance. Hello, ice traveler, and whatever you... Uh, hi. 
Uh, hello, this is my friend Sea Turtle. Today we have another kind of world to show you, one called Ocean, which we call home. I don't wish to sound bothersome, but what is that thing you are carrying? It's something new that I've made. I have watched other beings hunt with their large teeth. And my teeth are too small. This will be my tooth, and my people call it a spear. And now I can take bigger bites. You still eat? You can bite things? But they are little bites. Then only eat little things. I can't survive on eating only little things. Why not? Many of ice travelers' relations do. Not me. Why? Uh, mm, because. Oh, I can see a glimmer of understanding there. A second way of the council says, if you go into land marked by another nation, you respect that home and don't leave your markings there. Oh, this will be easy. This is only water. Hmm, there could be a problem here. The ocean is home to many nations, man. You'll understand it better when you see what we mean, man. Now let's start while we still have the sun. Man tries to get into the water. Man, you may ride beside me or on my back. Whatever's easier for you. Thank you, sea turtle. Man jumps on sea turtle's back. They go underwater, then reappear. Are we going far? Oh, yes. Oh, the water feels funny. It is very different from the water you find on land. I'm going ahead of you and man, sea turtle. I want to make sure the path is clear. Ice Traveler exits. Don't go too far, Ice Traveler. Walrus enters. He is fishing. Hello there. Is that your new offspring? Seems to have lost his shell. Hello, Walrus. We're busy, Walrus. Man, how do you move in the water? I can move fine. Wonderful, because I'm getting a little weary of carrying you. Sea turtle dumps man into the water. Man panics. Oh, 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 I'll be, I'll be swallowed up. Help me, help me. Don't be ridiculous. A little water never hurt anyone. Odd bean. Help. Man swims to walrus who splashes him with water. A bit awkward. Now, now, remain calm. You'll be all right. Just move your fins, so uh, whatever those things are called. Hands. Yes, your fins and hands. Walrus goes underwater and gets a fish. Delightful hunting today, don't you think? Hey, that, that, that's my fish. We share, man. There's enough for everyone. She goes under and gets a fish for man. Here. But I want that one. This one? But why? Yes, why? Because, uh, because it's mine. Very well, here. He throws fish at man. It hits him. Uh, ow, hey, you big... You big slug. Walrus puts his fin on top of man's head and holds him underwater. Rude little bean. He lets man up. <laughs> Reminds me of the time I was... Uh... Walrus releases man and sees Mako's fin. Uh oh an unwanted visitor. Shark, everyone swim. Swim away. Walrus exits. Mako swims around upstage of sea turtle and man. He doesn't frighten me. I have my tooth, you know. No one is gonna take my lunch. Quick, get on my back. We have to fly and flee immediately. Sea turtle, I told you, I'm, I'm not afraid of him. Oh no, Mako, listen to me. You must not attack us because, um, because. Just because. 
No, because we're teaching the new being. Is it tasty? Crunchy, munchy new being. Tasty new being, is it? I'm not afraid of him. Man takes his spear and lunges it forward into Mako's mouth. Mako is hurt, then spits out the spear. Tastes stringy. New being, new being. Is that your name? We want to remember you. That way, the next time we meet one of you, we'll know how tasty you all are when we eat you. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't afraid. That was before I took my tooth. Help, ice traveler. Help. We think we'll have a few fins, tasty, munchy finnies, then the new being, all very tasty and very munchy crunchy. Mako is ready to make an attack, but Ice Traveler arrives and bumps him. He doesn't see Ice Traveler. <laughs> what is the cause of our hurt? What takes us away from the munchy crunchies? These beings are protected by the council. Council? Yes, we remembers council. Who cares for the council? No one tells us when's to eat. We eats whatever is crunchiest and munchiest, babe. If you don't leave them alone, I will bump you and bite you. We goes, we goes, niceties lady. Mako begins to exit, but stops near man. Stay healthy. We don't like excess fats. Mako exits. If you are to fear anything in this world of water, he and all his nations and their relations are the ones to fear. Man, brutes is what they are. The nation should get together and kick them out of the council. No. This is Mako's home, and he belongs here. He has a purpose to the earth as everyone else does. There are good beings like us, and then there are those like Mako. They are old members of the council, but as time went on and they grew in numbers, Mako's brain never changed. I'm surprised he still remembers the word council. Ice Traveler, there are a lot of water beings I haven't met. How do you know which ones to fear and which ones not to? Try not to fear other beings, man. You will know the ones to stay away from and the ones to go to when you're in trouble and need help. Just be watchful. Here, get on my back. Man, you're heavy. You should eat little things. Scene four, woman is standing near a small blocked stream. She has a spear and is fishing. There are some tall reeds nearby. When she is going to strike, man enters. He's wearing a headdress made of flowers and weeds. Woman hides behind the reeds and watches. I am man, small water beings. I have come to get you, to eat you. Now don't make me use my tooth. Come out of your home now. Woman crosses to man and thumps him in the rear with her spear. Oh, 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 oh. Who are you? A being trying to get some food. You scared my food away. Not me. I'm getting food for myself. Ooh. What's that? No, uh, this is this is to let everyone know that I am the leader of the nation of men. <laughs> That's very funny. Now, who, um, what are you? Let me introduce myself. <clears throat> I am man. I can talk with all the things, all the beings of the council. Do not fear me because I do not fear you. Because I can talk to all the beings of the council and be heard. I am a leader and a talker. Then go and talk somewhere else. I need to eat. 
I can help you. I can get food to feed you. So can I. Man, are you always this noisy when you hunt? Man jumps into the stream and fishes. No, just watch. Watch how great, good I was. Uh, you'll scare them away. Come here, fish beings. Here. I'll show you how to do it. She leads him out of the stream with her spear, then spears a fish. Oh, that one must have hurt me. Looks like it's some good food. Would you like to share my food? I don't think I can eat all of this by myself. Sure. Man removes the fish from the spear and takes a bite out of it. What are you doing? Eating. The head? Not even prepared? Yuck! How else am I supposed to eat the water bean? You can eat it raw, but you have to prepare it first. You could season it with some herbs, roast it, roast it, fry it, dry it. All right, prepare it. Please? Just this once, but you have to clean up after we're done. They play around and it leads to a kiss. They break off awkwardly. Yeah, uh, uh, my name is Man. What's, what's yours? Woman. You're nice. You're gentle, too. <laughs> After, well, you're strange. <laughs> gentle, I guess. She begins to exit. Man follows. We can get a lot of things done together, can't we? After watching you, I don't know. Man leaves her and jumps back into the stream. Hear me, oh fish beings. One of you is our meal for today. You should all feel good about that. Next time, when I call, I want you to be ready to. Are you hungry or do you want to talk? I'm hungry, but I want more fish. Not for me, but for, for us. But we already have a fish for lunch and some other food we can share. Man, if you get more fish, <laughs> He doesn't pay attention to her as she exits. Come here, oh fish beings. He tries to get one and misses. If there's only one way of stopping you guys from getting away, ha! <laughs> he takes a stone sitting near the bank and rolls it into the stream, then finds another stone and does the same. Now you have to come to me, old oh fish beans. He picks fish out of the water and tosses them onto the bank. Wolf enters and watches him. She slowly sneaks near the fish. Man finally discovers her. Uh, hello, man. That is a lot of fish you have. I'm hungry. You would not mind if I... No, wolf. But man, we've always shared our food with you. Yeah, after you ate first and took all the good parts. Then I'll wait, like you did. No, get away from me. Wolf picks up a fish. Put it down. You can't have any. Man picks up a rock and throws it. Ow! Man! Wolf drops a fish, and man gets more rocks to throw. Go on. You're supposed to share with ow, others. Me. Stop it. Wolf exits. Man slowly gets out of the stream, gathers his fish, and cautiously goes down. He leaves the stream blocked and exits. Scene five. Man is kneeling. In front of him is a small pile of twigs. He has two rocks and is rubbing the rocks together. Woman enters. She is listening to the sounds around her. She crosses to man. Do you think they will come, man? I don't see why not. Don't be afraid. They are my friends. Why, I'm nearly one of them. When they see the new gift that I have for them, they'll be surprised and they'll want to make it, make me their head talker. Wolf enters and howls. Then panda bear and lizard enter. Tiger enters and brushes past woman. Man, why have you called us to the dens of your nation? Yes, what is wrong? 
cannot drink from the stream because it moves too fast for you? Wait, you'll see. I have something I want to share with you animals. We animals? What does animals mean? I mean, we, my nation, are human beings, and you are just animals. Excuse me. But then if we are just beings and you are a being, you are an animal too. Okay. I am an animal. Now, I have something I want to share with the nations of the council. It's something I've found. We, we are using it in our den areas, and it's great. We have something to say to you, man. You must obey the ways. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, let me, sh but let me show you this first. Here is angered. Please, man, please listen to Tiger. We've all come a long way to. I will, I will. Just, just wait up. Tiger rushes man and knocks him over. This catches everyone off guard. Man, man, you and your nation must obey the council ways. All right, all right, Tiger. All right. But you gotta see this first. Man goes back to his rocks and the small pile of twigs. Tiger signals wolf and they both start to stalk man. Just when they are ready to attack, woman helps man by striking the rocks together and making a spark for the fire. Man picks up one of the lit pieces of wood. Behold, I give the nations uh, something that's red and hot. Man drives off wolf and tiger. Don't be afraid, it won't bite. Excuse me, man, but we call this fire. Fire? Uh, you heard of this, about this stuff already? We have known about it for many seasons. Man walks around holding the flaming piece of wood. He chases off tiger. Do you want some fire? What about you? What about you? Excuse me, get rid of the fire man. Remove it now. This is a gift. It's a gift from my nations to the nations of the council. Woman crosses to man and tries to stop him from terrorizing everybody. I know what I'm doing with it now. I'm, there's nothing to be afraid of. Wolf grabs a hold of Lizard's tail. He will hurt all of us. Run. Run! Wolf drags Lizard off stage. Man follows them. Oh, stay. It's safe. Hey, Panda Bear. Panda Bear. Make them stay. I won't hurt them. He crosses to Panda Bear and prevents him from escaping. Put it down, man. Put the fire down. All right. He mindlessly tosses the burning piece of wood. Fire starts. All three turn to look. Oh. 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 What? <laughs> three large banners of red appear on stage and cross and circle the stage area, creating the fire. Wolf enters and dances with the banners. One banner disappears and she now takes time to catch her breath. Hurry, stay with your clan. You will survive this if you stay with your clan. Wolf fights the banners and Tiger enters, challenging the flames. Those of you who can't run, go to the streams and rivers. Hurry, it's getting closer. She fights off the flames and gets near Wolf. I want to meet with all the talkers as soon as we have outdistanced this fire. Tiger is nearly ready to run when Sparrow flies in and catches her attention. Tiger, Tiger, I see, I, I see the fire. How large is it? It is large, yes, oh, 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 very large. Will we be able to escape it? Yes, yeah, yeah. man helps, man and his nation, help us. He can, we can escape. They're on the other side of the fire. They are safe? Uh, they're tossing dirt and water on the fire. Oh, the fire, oh my. What? Yeah, yes, they're throwing, kicking, splashing dirt and water on the fire. Oh yes, yes, we can escape, escape. Arrow flies off and Wolf joins Tiger. 
Now is the time. We have to do something about man. This is more of his irresponsibility. Not here. We need to meet. We'll do something. Not now go, just go. They fight off the flames. The flames change direction and man and woman enter. Pour water. Just use, use the drinking water. Wet the cloth and beat the fire with it. Man, we can try to change the direction of the fire. To the river, lead the fire to the river. Look, look at what we've done. All the homes are being destroyed. I didn't mean for this to happen. Man and woman exit. There is one big flash of the red banner. The sounds of the fire fade. Panda bear, lizard, wolf, and walrus enter. They are all tired and hurt. They try to take care of one another. Tiger enters and examines each council member. We have time now. I want you, the talkers, to take back what is decided here and share it with your nation and your relations. Man and his nation have broken the ways. They are now large and strong and grow fat. They are now a full nation. They should be hunted. This is wrong, Tiger. They are strong enough. It's not too late to teach them the ways. We are still responsible for them. Responsible? Man is not responsible. We never know what he'll do next. That is the danger. That's correct. If you've noticed, man and his nations now are quite large. They have knives and spears and other things. And I don't know what they call them, but they are dangerous to all of us. They disregard the council's ways as if, as if the ways don't include them. Something has to be done. My nation and I will not wait for the next danger. Don't, don't do this, please, Tiger. We aren't like Mako and his relations. We give the ways time to work. Things will change. They have worked before. I ask all of you to please wait and be patient. Let time show us how things will work out. I say we don't have time. We have to act now. I agree with Tiger, Panda Bear. We must act now or it will be too late and it will destroy all of us. I don't believe hunting man and his nation will solve the problems we face. We don't have time. If we wait, we will pass away, one nation after another. Then it is settled. Do we agree to allow man and his nations to be hunted like all the members of the council? Yes, before it becomes too late for all of us. They call for a vote. Panda Bear withdraws from the boat. Let's begin now. They vote, then Tiger begins to exit. Stop, Tiger. I can't allow you to do this. Move out of my path, Panda Bear. It is man I want. Then I cannot move. It's wrong. What are you going to do? I hunt to protect for the survival of my nation. Tiger stalks and circles Panda Bear. All the council members become excited as the possible fight builds. No, no, not at a council meeting. Stop, both of you. Young one, don't hinder her. She says it's for protection. That's reason enough. Tiger and Panda Bear fight, exchanging blows. Wolf helps Tiger by distracting Panda Bear. Tiger charges Panda Bear and knocks him to the ground. She is ready to strike his neck, but stops. Hear me, let your nations know that man is to be hunted. If anyone in your nations is hurt or killed by man and his nation, man will answer to me. Woman is working in a small garden patch. 
man sneaks up behind her to surprise her. He does, and she reacts by sweeping him off his feet. Man? Oh, man, I have something for you to do. Are you all right? Hey, don't worry about me. I'm, 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 a, I'm like a rock. <laughs> he falls over after she has sat him up. Good. I want you to help me pull out the weeds so the plants can grow. Do it like this. She demonstrates how to pull weeds. Oh, you're also going to find these little, these little bugs. Little beings? Yes. I want you to remove them from the plants. And when you finish, we'll eat. Will I have to wash my hands before we eat again? Yes. He begins to lick his hands. Oh, uh, not like that. All right. Woman begins to exit, but stops. She watches man. Weeds and weeds. Which are the plants and which are the weeds? Wolf one appears and begins to growl. Listen, what is that? What is that, man? Wolf two appears and growls. Hello. He gets to his feet and walks to the wolves. What's wrong? Don't you know who I am? Woman pulls man back behind her. Yes, I believe they don't know who you are. Oh, wait a minute. Wolf. Wait a minute. You beings are scouting? Scouting for what? For hunting. Wait, your nation can't hunt us. Woman six enters, carrying a rock and a spear. She sets her rock down and begins to attack the wolves. Get, get out of here, you bad animals. Get away from here, go. She chases them off. What are you doing? Come back. Were they hunting us? I thought we were not to be hunted. Yes, I, I was told by the council that we would have a chance to grow. Seagull enters. Do you think they've changed their minds? Siegel crashes into man and woman. Oh man, oh man, man is in for it now. What's it saying, man? I hate, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be in your nest. Seagull, what are you talking about? Good shape, good shape. You better be in good shape for the hunt. I don't want to be near you. I might, would, could. They could mistake me for you. Get away, get away. Get lost, man. Woman six stalks Seagull. What about the wolves? Ask him if that's what the wolves were doing. Woman six smacks Seagull's bottom with her spear, sending Seagull into man and woman. Seagull bounces off man and woman and falls back into a waiting kick by woman six. Get, get away, you disgusting bird. Woman bad. six chases Seagull. Bad, bad, evil man. Seagull, wait. You shouldn't have done that. He wasn't bothering anyone. Oh, I'd save you both. I'd save your lives. And this is how you say thanks? What's going on? We're being attacked. Animals have crashed into the village. They're biting, scratching, and slashing at everything inside. It's terrible. At least this is what I've heard. Move. Who told you that? Man three enters, carrying some spears. Get more rocks. Tell the people, get all their knives, spears, and bows ready. We'll show these animals. Man three exits and man one enters. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What's going on? What are you doing standing there? Get busy. We have to defend our villages. From what? Ourselves? The animals. Woman two enters being chased by tiger. Help me, help me. Attack that drive, tiger, drive it back. 
Man three and man one drive Tiger off stage. Man gets in between them. That's a talker of the council. Don't hurt her. Thank you. Thank you. She crosses to man three, but he pushes her off to woman. What are you doing? You're sympathizing with the animals after this poor woman was attacked. Yes. I mean, no. Listen, it's, it's getting too crazy. We aren't being attacked. We're being hunted, that's all. But you told us we weren't to be hunted. Woman six and woman three enter. I know, I know. Uh, maybe we've been doing things wrong. We have to follow the council ways, are we? If we haven't, we, we're going to have to stop at what we're doing today and go back to the old ways. What? What? What are you saying? We can't go back to the old times because we are too large in numbers. We've made families live in one den until it couldn't hold anymore. We're now growing so large, our towns have become dirty and overcrowded. But if we're going to build more, we have to be certain that the trees that we take won't destroy someone's home. We have to honor the markings of other nations. It's one of the council ways. So I have to let my children freeze in the snow and rain so some bird or squirrel or raccoon is safe? No, I have to take t trees now to build into a home that I have. Wait, what about food? We all have enough to make it through the season. So if anyone hunts, we can share. Maybe you have enough to eat, but I don't are just as large as they are in numbers. They should change their ways and listen to us. We, we could add some new ways so we could all live together. If we, if it weren't for them, we wouldn't have survived to have grown to what we are today. But we have survived and we should have a say in what we do. We are people, human beings. We are the new beings who will rule this world we have ways, laws. Laws? What are those? Laws are the rules of how the nation of man will live and how the nation of the council will live under man. We can't change ways overnight. The ways have been here for ages, longer than any of us have. The laws will give us harmony with the animals. Uh, the first law is man can kill us for food, uh, protect us, uh, to secure his property, and when he feels the urge. And second, all the animals are beneath man and should obey and serve man. And third, man has the right to use the trees, the water, the air, the ground to enrich his life for himself and his family. And finally, man has the right to enter any territory or home that belongs to an animal and make it his property. Woohoo! Yeah! No, no, these laws don't sound fair to me. What about the children and women? They will be included in the laws as well, under man. I can't live like that. No one should have to live like that. You will. You all will. If those of you who believe in what I say, go back to your homes and get your knives and your spears. I say let's do it. Stop. It isn't right. We are a nation of the council. We have to keep the council's ways. Yes. We've come so far from where we used to be. Why? We will not be attacked by these animals. Listen to me. Wait. Let me, let me try to call for a council. And all of you can come with me. We'll go to the council and ask them not to hunt us. Or just to give us some more time. 
and maybe have the laws included in the ways. Man three stalks woman. Yes, man is trying to do the best for all of us. We should. Man three grabs her. Wait, let me go. This is going too far. Man three signals man one and woman six to hold man back by spear point. Stay back. You stay away from the council. If you go there, you will never see woman again. Take her and put her behind the wall with us. You others, take man and put him outside the wall. Hurry, do as I say. But the council, but the council will help us. I have to go. Run, man, don't worry about me. Stop, because if you do, you'll pay for it. Everyone in the council will pay for their betrayal of us. Man is held at bay by woman six and man one. He knocks their spears away and exits. You fools, don't stand there. Follow him and find out where he goes. We'll find those beasts and teach them to obey. Man one runs after man. Scene seven, Lizard is flying on the back of Condor. Condor makes a turn in the sky, and Lizard doesn't follow. He floats for a moment and then falls. Ugh. Ugh. Ow. Tiger, Panda Bear, and Walrus enter. Lizard, are you all right? Silliness. Where are man and ice traveler? Just plain silliness. At least you came in a thud and not a splat. Man? Ice Traveler? This is useless. Where are those two? Wolf enters. A pack of men surrounds the council. How dare they? Council members are upset. Man enters, riding on the back of Ice Traveler. Man calls to council members. Members of the council, hear me. We have very little time. Everyone listen to him. We must have new ways. What? What are they saying? Slow down, man. Catch your breath. We can't understand you. Man has landed and crosses to the center. My people, my people will hurt us if we don't obey their laws. Now it's we? When did you decide to become one of us? They want their laws included in the ways. We have to do it if we want to live in peace. Do you really talk for your nation? Is it going to be safe here? There's a reaction from the council members. All you have to do all you have to do is include some of their laws in the ways of the council. It will be a peace offering to my nation. What? Wait, what are laws, man? One law says we aren't going to be your equals. I like that. This could be interesting. What else? We aren't going to be below you. Then what are you going to be? Above you. <laughs> Council members are angered. <laughs> they believe they are the new beings of man. They will one day rule over all nations. Uh, we can't accept this. But it could bring peace to all of us. There is a danger rising and we must stop it. This is not natural. One being more important than another. The ways have always kept the nations together as one. Wait, 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 wait. That's just one of their laws. Listen. If you adopt the laws into the council ways, we'll have peace and the council will survive. Don't 
worry about the councilman. We already have peace and harmony. She signals for the council meeting to begin and the members assume their positions in the circle. Now, everyone knows that no one is to be hunted going or leaving a council, but there are some men of your nation who are doing this now. I'll tell them, go home. Just please allow them to have some of their laws. Man, the council's way is kill only for food and to protect, not kill because you can't have what you want. Or kill because someone doesn't agree with you. If, if we accept your ways and your laws, will this make your people stop hunting us? I don't know if it will. Then I say no to your laws. Members of the council, do you agree? Council members begin to vote. Help me, ice traveler. Listen to me. The vote is completed. It has been decided, ice traveler. Walrus exits. All of man's laws can't be, ha can't be bad. They are, they are something we should consider. These are new times for all of us. There have been so many changes and the world is unbalanced. If we could help man, these laws could be a way to restore the harmony we've had. The council has done what it could to help man and his nation. It is enough. There is a flash of red cloth and muffled sounds. Be still. What's wrong? Panda bear sniffs the air. Fire! They are breaking the circle of life. The council members scatter, except for tiger, ice traveler, and man. Get those beasts, hurry. Don't let any of them escape. Kill them if you have to. No, no, you can't do this, not here. Tiger stalks man. You and their nations have gone too far. Run! Tiger, don't hurt him. It's not his fault. Please, Tiger, don't hurt me. How can a pitiful being like you force me to change into something I don't want to be? She lunges at man and misses. I will never be the same because of you, but this time you will answer for it. She tries to lunge again, but misses. Man and Ice Traveler exit. Tiger exits. A red banner appears on stage and sweeps the area. The muffled sounds now become shouts of anger from the nation of man. Then the voices become silent. Wolf, panda bear, and sea turtle enter. The sound of grass being whacked at is heard. The three see each other and sense it is wrong. They turn to exit, but man three and some other humans enter. Get them, don't be afraid. They're only animals, tie them and make sure to tie their binds real tight. Hurry, don't worry about that turtle. Work on the other two. The men tie panda bear and wolf. They place a muzzle on wolf. Sea turtle has been placed on her back with a rock on her chest. We'll come back for them later. What do you think they will do to us? Oh, I don't wanna think about it. I bet it'll be bad. How do we get out? We're never going to get out. What is she? What are you doing, Wolf? Wolf is trying to howl as Sea Turtle cries. Crying. And if I didn't have this thing on my mouth, I could cry louder. Don't give up. Come on, you two. Please don't give up. We can get out of here. There is a possibility. Possibility leads to hope. Hope leads to a solution. He struggles with the leash and ropes and breaks free, then gets to his feet and stretches. Ah, that feels good. Panda Bear pushes the rock off of Sea Turtle and turns her over, then crosses over to Wolf and starts to chew on her muzzle. Ow! Watch where you're biting. Excuse me, but it blends so well with your color. They get the muzzle off and she is able to free herself. They get together in a small group. Now what do we do? 
we'll sneak out together. Once we get some distance between us and the men, we'll try to find Ice Traveler. We will have Ice, Ice Traveler talk with man. Maybe man can talk with his people, Ole Council, just for his own nation. Hopefully we can have peace and restore harmony we had. Then we must move quickly. They start to leave Sea Turtle. Wait, wait, what about me? I can't keep up. Pandemare and Wolf, without hesitation, return to help Sea Turtle. They lift Sea Turtle onto Panda Bear's back. Now everyone, please be quiet. They sneak off. trying to fish with no success. Mako enters and makes a noise. Ice Traveler? Is that you? Ice Traveler? No response. Mako makes a noise again. Ice Traveler? I... Mako swims around man, cutting off any escape. Hellos and smiles pretties for us. It is we, my little crunchy munch. Snackities, snackities. Man raises his harpoon. Get away from me! No, no! We no wants to get away from you. We wants to get closer to you. Even better, so close you be inside we forever! Yes, my little crunchies munchies! Get away! Leave me alone! He stabs at Mako with a harpoon and then throws it at Mako and misses. Miss! He misses us. He really does. Now, we plays a game with it. Firsties, we go out a little farther. We need more room to play. Yes, little man. Munchy crunchies is ours. Yes, it is. Now go. Mako chases man out to sea. Help! Get away from me, Mako! Oh, what's wrong? We not wants to frighten. We want crunchy munchies. Now swim faster, hurry, we wants to play. Mako goes underwater and nudges man. Wait, let's play a game. Snackity snackities, we are Z's, we's playing. I am hungry and you is crunchy munchies. <gasps> no, help me, help. Leave him alone. No, no, it is her again. Ice Traveler enters. I've told you to keep away from him. We wills, we wills, for now. Don't bumps and bites us, pretties and pleases. Mako begins to exit and stops. We plays next time. You brings friends and we brings friends and we have feeding frenzies. Mako exits. Get on my back, man. There is something we have to do, and we don't have much time. What are you talking about, Ice Traveler? We are the only hope for the nations if there is going to be peace and harmony in this world. We can show the beings that there is a possibility of living together as one. Those days are gone. I am man and you're an animal. We'll never be equal again. Do you really believe that, man? I... I don't know, Ice Traveler. The world needs all the nations to live together in peace. We did it before. It's a knowledge that will never die, but is sometimes forgotten. We have to make the people remember, even if we have to bump and bite everyone. Look, we are closer to the shore. See? There are people. They'll see us together as one. Ice Traveler, you, just you and I won't be enough to make them see that they are wrong. They are near shore and man jumps off of Ice Traveler. I'll go to shore, Ice Traveler, alone. Man begins to swim. 
No, man, don't give up. What do I have to do to make all of you realize there is hope? Begins to swim to shore. I am ice traveler of the Orca Nation. We can live together as one in the circle of life. The people of my nation will try to get on land and find those who are willing to work together as one, live as one. Hear me, I am ice traveler. She beaches herself, man follows her. Get, get back into the water, ice traveler, please. He tries to move her. Help me, ice traveler. I can't do it by myself, please. Someone, anyone. We can't do this to ourselves. We need to help. We need help from everyone who will give it. Please, I am man, one of the nation of man. We need your help. Epilogue, present day, Joey, Michelle, and the beached whales. This is history. Your history. Your history. Our, Our history. history. Can, can you help us? Yes. Um. She goes to the water, cups her hands, and brings water to the whale. Is it all right if I put water on you? Thank you. It feels good, little one. Are you really hurt bad? Wait, can, can you tell us if things are continuing as they have been? We are looking for someone who will listen and help. Help? Oh, our daddy is getting someone to help you now. Why, why are you here? We are looking for someone who will sit and hold a council with us, those who will listen and help. There are others from other nations in this world who are having a hard time, and they don't know how to ask for help. We'll do it. We'll hold council with you. We can help you. I am Michelle. I am Joey. We are from the we nation, from the of, nation man. of man. Father and another man enter. Michelle and Joey cross to them and bring them near the whales. 